Hi guys, I'm back and I have another book review for you. This time, The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. I really enjoyed this novel and I was not expecting that. <laughs> it was published in 1939 and it's set during the Great Depression. So, as you know, the Great Depression started in 1929, but it lasted until the late 1930s, so the theme was quite fresh when Steinbeck wrote it. Um, it's about a family who lost their home, their farm, and they're forced uh, to travel west looking for jobs and future. Uh, during their journey, they meet other families in the same situation, and one thing they have in common is that everyone is really excited about getting to California uh, because they think the wages are going to, are going to be really good. Um, but when they get there, it's not just a matter of time. Uh, it gets more and more complicated. The, the novel just keeps getting more complicated. Um, so this is a, a realist novel uh, about tenant farmers who fail to meet the their loan payments and because of that they, they, they were forced out of their homes and, and lands. Um, they failed to meet these payments because of dust storms. Uh, in the 1930s there, there was something called the Dust Bowl. Uh, there were severe dust storms uh, around Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, Arkansas, Kansas and all those people were affected. Most of them decided to travel to California because, well, they thought that they would find a good job there. Some of them decided to travel to the next state and see if they could just find a job there. Um, but the point is, thousands, thousands, thousands of families were just traveling and trying to find something. Um, I really enjoyed all the history behind the novel um, because, well, I studied the Great Depression in high school uh, during a history class but um, I don't know I always look at it as just you know something that I have to know it's a fact that I have to know it's something that I have to know but not I didn't have any emotional connection to it and this novel kind of changed that it, because the family that is being portrayed here represented thousands of families and you know it's really hard for you not to not to get you know emotional <laughs> when you read something like that because the novel is really dense and um, it's full of descriptions and it just goes on and on and on long long chapters um, so I advise you if you want to read this novel which I think you should don't read it all at once you know read it in stages because um, you know it's gonna make you sad <laughs> Uh, not sad to the point where you cry. Um, I cry a lot <laughs> when I'm reading uh, some books, but um, it's just, it makes you feel, I don't even know how to explain, you just feel sad, you feel exhausted. Um, so, you know, that's a sign that this is a key cast novel. Um, so it kind of changed my perspective, you know, uh, about this, uh, historical period that I didn't know much about. Um, now, a thing that I didn't really enjoy was uh, the difference of uh, length between chapters. So you had chapters that would go on for 25-30 pages and then you had chapters that are like two pages long. Um, but these short chapters, they're cold. They're cold. Um, they break the, the, the story, so there's a break there, which is good for you, believe me, you need it. And, uh, and it just gives you a sort of historical note that complements everything and just makes you understand things a lot better. Um, but also, during that, the sh those shorter chapters, the writing changes and all of a sudden you have three or four unknown characters speaking and just, you know, playing what the historical note was, was saying. Um, so I have, I have two passages that I, I would like to read for you. Like one is from chapter 19, if I'm not mistaken, yes. And it's about um, the landowners in California being, I think, I'm, I'm, I hope I'm not mistaken, being um, uh, scared that they're going to lose their, their lands, they're going to lose their 
their um, their rights as landlords because these people used to have a land and now they don't but they want one um, so they're talking about how can you scare them and just you know bend them to your will and a passage says how can you frighten a man whose hunger is not only in his own cramped stomach but in the wretched bellies of his children you can't scare him he has known a fear beyond every other so a lot of people die from starvation and malnutrition during the journey to California um, and children of course were the main victims of the story and then in chapter 21 um, the uh, before chapter 21 but in chapter 21 you really understand it the term Oki shows up and um, it's used to describe people who are very poor and who come from Oklahoma and nearby states looking for jobs um, but you know it's not a very nice word especially because as it says these goddamn Okies are dirty and ignorant they are degenerate sexual maniacs these goddamn Okies are thieves they'll steal anything they've got no sense of property rights we can't let these Okies get out of hand and the men who were armed did not own the land but they thought they did and the clerks who drill at night own nothing, and the little storekeepers possess only a trough full of debts. But even a debt is something, even a job is something. So these okies, as they said, they didn't have anything, uh, and a storekeeper would think that he was better than them, even though he had debt, and even though he, had, he was owning a lot of money, but it's still, he had something, and they didn't. Um, so you see, these families had no support whatsoever, and throughout the novel, they, they stop a bunch of times um, to to buy some some food. They they just have a very small amount of money, and they're trying to make it last. Um, and every time they stop, even though they have money, they are treated as they're gonna steal something. So you know, keep an eye on him. And and they they start getting they, they get upset they they say right away but we have money I'm not gonna sell anything I I, I can pay um, but still you feel like they're they're being mistreated just because they're poor just because their clothes are dirty and because they're all sweaty from traveling and instead of helping them people were just closing doors on them and. You know, you can be different to that because it still happens. So, I really enjoyed this. I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, it's a really good, powerful novel. I think everyone should give it a try. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's one of those novels that maybe, I don't know, some people might read a bit and then, you know, you have to stop for a while and pick it up again. Um, but honestly, it's. It's something that you, it's a must read, for sure. Um, this edition is by Penguin, and it's part of the collection Great Steinbecks. So, I I I want to read all of his novels now. So I think I'm just gonna buy everything in this edition, so it gets all pretty. Um, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, again, if you have any comments or suggestions, please. Um, leave them in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching my first video uh, <laughs> thank you for the comments the thumbs up and uh, for all the views I uh, was really excited and happy about it um, I don't know what my next video is so if you have any suggestions please let me know bye